All right, what's up dudes? I know this presentation method looks a little weird, but I think it's important that you are able to see the vocab that I'm talking about on the side. Um, because mitosis and meiosis is really confusing vocab wise. I know I messed up a couple times during class. So here we go, this will be quick. Mitosis, also known as somatic cell division. In prophase, all the membranes are intact, including the nuclear envelope and the membrane all the way around the cell. You have two condensed chromosomes with two chromatids held together by a kinetic core at the centrosome. The centrioles, that's where I kind of messed up today, are chilling on the side. That's where the spindle fibers come from. In metaphase, the spindle poles have separated to each side of the cell. As you can see on mine, it's a lateral, so left and right. Um, the microtubules have extended to grab the kinetic core, so that middle part of the chromosome. The kinetic core is part of the central mirror, central zone. There we go. The nuclear envelope has fully dissolved and the stationary chromosomes are aligned at the equator or the middle of the cell on that metaphasic plate that we talked about. There are also polar microtubules that extend through the cell for structural purposes. So those are what we talked about. That's what keeps the cell from collapsing. In anaphase, that's 100% spelled wrong on the side. I'll fix that. The separated chromatids are being pulled towards each pole. They're being popped apart to the side of the cell. The polar microtubules that are there for structure are starting to be pulled away. So that's where we're starting to get that little cinch. In telophase, the nuclear envelopes is starting to reform at each pole around individual chromosomes at each pole. And the cell membranes continue to be stretched and pulled apart, preparing to be split. Cytokinesis, the cleavage furrow that we talked about is cinched in the middle of the cell and the cells are separated and the nuclear envelope is fully developed, leaving you with two cells. These are cells that one, we will continue in this two meiosis. So say we start with one in prophase one, the homologous chromosomes pair and exchange segments. It's called synapsis, the pairing of homologs to form the tetrad. Where they cross over specifically is called the chasmata. I know section one asked a question about that. The centrioles are just chilling on the side still. The nuclear envelope is still there. Metaphase one, so that metaphasic plate, the tetrads line up at the metaphasic plate or the middle. The microtubules attach to the kinetic core. So microtubules attach via the kinetic core again. That is part of the central mirror. Um, they're haven't been pulled apart yet, but in anaphase, sister chromatids remain attached at the homologous chromosomes separate. That is a very important question, usually true or false on the test. So once again, sister chromatids remain attached as the homologous chromosomes separate. Then we go through a telophase and cytokinesis, same as the last process. Um, you end with two haploid cells. Chromosomes are still double. And finally, meiosis two. Remember, there is those two blue chromosomes aren't supposed to be there. I messed up. I did not erase them. I can't go back and erase them right now. So remember, there's only two chromosomes in that cell. So meiosis two, it's a similar process. Uh, during another round of cell division, the sister chromatids fully separate, ending with four haploid daughter cells containing a singular chromosome, which is why they are called 1N. So that is your recap of mitosis, meiosis. Even if you missed class today, that should hopefully make some sense. Um, I should be on Slack for a while if you have questions. Otherwise, good luck with your test tomorrow, everybody.